Hey everyone. So, I'm working on a super awesome project and I want to share it with you. I am making vinyl record purses and I'm really excited about it because I just got really inspired. So, vinyl record. Yay! All right. These are just like some old ones that are at Goodwill and most of them are fairly damaged. So, they weren't going to work anyway. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to be making purses out of it. So you're going to need two purses. Sorry, we're going to make one purse. Two vinyl records. Um, and then I have a strip of black fabric or whatever you want um, in between. That one I made about 22 inches by four and a half inches. Um, after cutting that, I went, um, I surged it all the way around. Then I folded in all the edges at about three eighths. Yeah, about three eighths inch. You might be able to see it. I cannot tell. See, you can see I folded it in. Um, then from there, I hot glued that edge in there. Oh, mm, can't tell. There we go. I hot glued it in there. Well, first I, I sewed the um, hem, right? And then I hot glued the edge all the way around. And I made sure that it was right side up on the other side because the labels aren't always matched up. So now I know that this label will be facing upwards and not like crooked or upside down or something. Um, so I did one side on this, but I didn't have an, a plan for the um, hand bet for the actual like arm. Mm, there's a word for it. Handle. <laughs> um, or the strap. So I didn't have uh, an idea of what I was going to do. And so I was going through these random supplies and I found a ton of old zippers. And I'm super excited about it because I'm going to be able to buy them for super cheap because I'm at school and they'll let me buy stuff for cheap. Um, but if you can find like old zippers, go for it. At first I was going to find a chain um, and then sew that in, but I couldn't find one that I really wanted to afford and looked good at the same time. So instead I have these zippers. Um, I haven't measured them. They look to be about 16 inches or so. And I've got two of them. Um, I'm going to sew these together and make them into a strap. So I'll show you my next step shortly, but I wanted to show you what I've done so far before I get too far into this project. Um, I'll break down um, all of the actual details in a pattern, if you'd like, and I'll release that on Etsy. Um, but it's going to be super awesome. I'm really excited about this because it's going to be so badass. So yeah, it's going to be good. All right, I'll see you guys soon. All right, so I'm at the sewing machine now and uh, I measured the zippers. They're 18 inch zippers. Um, so what I've done is at the bottom ends, I've sewn them across and together. I do suggest using um, a strong needle like a denim and maybe a 14. Um, a size 14, that way you can get through those layers pretty easily. If you have a more powerful machine, you don't need to worry about it quite as much, but if you do have a, like a normal machine at home, um, especially if it's one of those beginner $100 machines, you definitely want to make sure you have the right needle because there's not a lot of power behind it. All right, so I've got it sewn in the middle, and then at the end, I have got it, I don't know, opened about four inches, about four inches, and I'm going to have them stay open. Then... I've got these, and I got carried away with the gluing because I was so excited, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew them to the edges of end of here and make a make the handle on both sides. I'm going to have them separated. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, I am going to have that zipper pull on the outside though, so otherwise it'll look kind of funky. It'll look backwards. So they will be on those insides. I'll just stitch straight across. I'm going to go back and forth like um, forward, reverse, forward, reverse a few times. That way I know it's going to be nice and sturdy in its place. Oop, don't want it twisted. Definitely when you're doing straps, make sure it's not twisted. Um, and that way you won't have to do tearing out later because that's always frustrating. Okay, I'll come back to you in a minute. All right, um, I just finished sewing the zippers on um, and I'm going to go home. So there's going to be a change in scenery. Um, I'm going to go home and finish up the other side and like I'm almost done. All I got to do is hot glue. So that's pretty awesome. And I changed my mind on making the pattern available for Etsy. 
gonna have to go to my Patreon. Um, I have a five dollar um, a month subscription, and I'm gonna release patterns to you and full um, like instructions on them, so you'll be able to check them out and get patterns every month if you're one of my subscribers on Patreon. So thank you. <laughs> All right, everyone. Okay. So, I've sewn both of the ends of the zippers on to both sides, and I should have done this to begin with on this, but I didn't have a plan yet, other than maybe the chain. So, but anyway, so I sewed it with the record attached, and it was a little awkward. I do recommend doing the, the strap sewing first, but here we are. Um, and then I'm going to get a record. Let's do, yeah, let's do this one. So I can see like I already have like the scratch on this record, like this on the label, so maybe I don't want to use that. I'll check out the other side. It's printed a little off, but I think it'll work. Um, so this side will be the outside, and uh, I want to make sure I know where the middle bottom is. Also on here as well, and I'm going to start... I'm kind of eyeballing the bottom. Uh, that's about right. Yeah. And I'm going to start from the middle of each of these and go around. It's going to get awkward, all right? Because, I mean, I've got to attach these things, and it's just going to be weird. But it's also going to be done with the hot glue. So you're not going to see much, but what I'm going to do is I am going to start from the middle and work my out, way out on one side and then on the other side. Um, I'm using like a certain groove as a guideline. It's probably hard to see. Like I could go to this groove. It's a little bit more distinct, um, but it's kind of high. So I'm just going to move it down just a little bit um, and use, there's another groove in there, probably like a chorus or something. I don't know. And so I'll use that line as a um, reference point and then glue around. It's going to be like a nice even stream of glue. Hopefully you can see this first one before I get started and then you'll see like how much glue I'm putting on to here. Let's see if I can get better light for you. There we go. Yeah. So. Um, this is a low temp glue. I like to work with low temps more because um, I don't need to worry. See, it's not like super consistent, but it's okay because it's all just going to get hidden. Anyway, um, low temp glue because that way it's less likely to randomly melt things that I work with. Um, there's also like high temp glues. There's probably other uses for it, but I find the low temp um, hot glue gun works for most of my things. All right, so, and I'm just going to keep going around, but it'll be hard to see past my hands. So, I'm going to kind of fast forward this for you, and you'll see how it goes. All right, so when I get to the end here, I want to make sure I don't overshoot with the glue, because then it'll look bad. So I will very carefully, if you want to mark it, you can mark it. I, I, I just eyeball it, but you definitely don't want to go over. You can go under a little bit, but not over. All right. And that's one side down. And then I'm going to go to the other side. Alright, I'm attached. It's all good to go. I probably wouldn't use this right away. Um, because it will just end up pulling apart. I want to make sure the glue is nice and set before I actually use it. Bear in mind, this is more of a fashion purse. You're going to throw your phone wallet and keys in here and probably nothing else because I don't trust the strength of this glue very much to actually hold heavy things. Um, I mean, if, if I really wanted a sturdy purse with these records, 
Um, I probably would have made a whole person then stuck the records to it. But this was just a super cute and quick way to make a record purse. Okay, you did it. It's not too hard. We've got a vinyl record purse right here. If I wanted to keep those zippers from pulling, I could do a little bar tack right here. Um, but I don't think it'll need it. Like, if anything, I can just fidget with it and have fun zipping it back and forth. It's hard to do with one hand like this. Anyway, um, so of course, like and subscribe. Share with all your friends. I'm going to call this the Breaking Records Purse. Corny, whatever. Don't care. <laughs> so join me next week for another sewing lesson. Um, oh, yeah, there's things. I'm supposed to ta say things like, um, like my Facebook page, Crafting by Jam. You gotta go to Patreon because I'm gonna have like a technical pattern for this. Uh, yes, Ginger, she's talking too. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have a technical pattern for this release for my $5 and up patrons. Um, just a little appreciation for you. Uh, then I've also got this YouTube. You have to share it with people, please. I wanna teach people, but they can't know about me if you don't tell them about me. So I'm going to do what I can on my end, but I need your help. Um, and then if you like it or if you have an idea, go ahead and put it down in the comments. I don't know if you can post pictures, but if you do, go for it. Um, or you can even um, send me pictures of your things on Facebook. We'll have them posted. It's fun. Yeah, sharing your stuff. It's a super quick project. doesn't take a lot of skill. It just takes a sewing machine. Couple records, couple zippers, hot glue. Easy. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much for watching. Good night. Ginger, can you say like and subscribe? No, not yet. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. You good bird? Yeah. All right, you know how I said to like make sure it wasn't twisted? It's not like I have experience in that. So, yay, seam, rip seam ripping! See you later.